A teenager with a handgun shoots a girl inside a high school in Great Mills, Maryland. The 16-year-old girl was hospitalized with a life-threatening wound. A 14-year-old boy also suffered a gunshot wound. It was not clear who shot him. He was in stable condition. And it isn't immediately clear whether the shooter took his own life or was killed by an officer's bullet. Joining me now is Catholic Congressman Francis Rooney of Florida. Just this morning, we saw another school shooting a little over 50 miles from Washington, from our studios, from where you're working right now. We have seen students rally across the country calling for something to be done. And nowhere is that more clear than in Florida. And we're expecting a huge turnout for March for our lives. So tell me, is this Parkland tragedy that happened in Florida, do you think, the tipping point in getting gun control legislation passed? I sure hope so. I think I think this should finally may be the the game changer. You know, it should have happened after Columbine 20 years ago. And I immediately came out with a seven point plan, which I've added a little bit to now, to do a lot of the things, common sense reforms to make sure something like a Parkland can't happen again. Florida is the only state that has passed any gun control legislation, isn't that right? That's right. And I talked to the governor about it right after Parkland. And the things that Florida passed, by and large, are what, what I proposed in my plan. No bump stocks, three-day wait, 21 years, fix NICs, make sure the government cooperates with each other, and also put in the violent threat restraining order process to make sure that your cruise types don't get weapons. So why is the House only passing security measures? You know, here is a very strange place. I worry about the influence of the NRA here. I worry about people being willing to stick their neck out like I did. I don't think very many people have. And I think we need to pass the fix NICs. I hope they put that in the spending bill right now. Tell and me then what that the is, states will have to do the violent threat restraining order. I, that, that's where when you have red flags, and if you look at the Every Town Against Gun Violence study, 43% of all mass shootings, the shooter has exhibited one or more obvious red flags. So when you have red flags of instability, dangerous posts, uh, prescriptions, etc. you go before a judge and you have an adjudication to find out if you're a threat. And if you are, the process is told and you can't get a weapon. So our audience knows you are a card-carrying member, lifetime member of the NRA. Have you had pushback on this? I've had no direct pushback. I was disappointed that the NRA sued Florida Friday over what are not radical, obvious, careful measures to put into place to, to stop this stuff. I'm a lifetime member of the NRA, and the NRA's done a lot of great things to protect the Second Amendment. I'm a lifetime hunter, lifetime member of Ducks Unlimited, too. But that doesn't mean we need to have crazy people getting assault weapons and shooting up kids in schools. Tomorrow's the big vote, the omnibus bill. Are life protections going to stay in? Well, according to the Speaker of the House in the Wall Street Journal today, he's fighting for him. Let's just let's just hope he can hang tough. You know, there's a lot of sausage making going on today uh, between DACA versus security measures, DACA versus wall, uh, medical funding versus the life protections in the conscience bill. Uh, I don't know how it's going to work out. I'm going to be watching vigilantly, though, and sure uh, arguing that we need to, to do the things that we promised our voters and we promised our conscience that we would support. All right, Congressman Francis Rooney of Florida, thank you for joining us.